let's talk for a second about the things that that you see happening over and over with people who are trying to make it on the internet. Uh, the kind of people that that might come to your class and and you would help them with this type of thing. I don't want you to give the store away, but if we can no, help some no, people. It would take a while since it's a year long program. <laughs> so I don't think yeah. it shows that long. But uh, well, basically, uh, when people ask me about the um, success, it's uh, it's old school. I mean, a lot of the places I'm at, they call me the OG, which I thought was the old guy. And it's supposed to be original gangster. I, guess. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Right. But um, but the, the thing is, it's persistence and consistency. It's like people say, well, I want to build a big list. I want to do uh, Facebook ads. I want to do this. I want to do that. And every one of those things has a million details. And so they try something. And then uh, the, the problem I've seen with the up and coming generation is they don't have the, the uh, stick to itiveness. You know, they want the immediate re uh, uh, results. And a lot of this stuff is just not that way. It takes a while to build up a big following. It takes a while to, to get, gain trust with people. It takes a while. Uh, it doesn't take that long to develop products, but it takes a while to build a, a mailing list. And, you know, so, so yes, you can do things quickly, but if you come with the mindset of get rich quick, I'm not the right guy. Cause it's, no. it's just never works. It's just uh uh, that mindset is what kills you, even though you could trip on something and make some money. It's just the chances are are, are uh, very slim. So persistency and consistency are the big keys. However, there is one thing, if people do make, have to make money fast, it'll probably surprise you of, of what I teach them. eBay. Oh, you could make money in a, in a uh, by tomorrow with eBay with no website, no nothing, and clean your basement out at the same time. Yeah, and, Gary and I, B talks about this arbitrage. You you flip you you have something or you buy something cheap and you flip it. Well, that's one way. Yeah, and uh, there's a friend of mine, Lynn Drawley, and she would take. She was a single mom. She would take eighty to a hundred bucks to yard sales every Saturday, and so on eBay on the search box, there's a little link next to it, a little tiny link that says advanced search. If you click that, and then you click the box that says completed listings only. And this will tell you in the past 90 days, all the things that you were searching for, how many sold, how many didn't sell and how much they sold for. So she would take her cell phone to a yard sale and maybe she'd see one of those Tonka, you know, nice quality metal toy trucks for five bucks. She'd go on eBay and sell them for 50. Uh, she would buy it, resell it. If it was selling for 50 at the yard sale and five on eBay, she wouldn't buy it. She right. was clearing a thousand to 1100 bucks a week doing wow. this with one day going to yard sales with 80 to a hundred bucks. So, and, and, and I'm very frugal, you know, my said, my dad came from Syria with nothing. And, uh, when I grew up, we, we would buy used lumber and take the nails and straight, get them out of there and straighten them out and reuse them. That's the, what I grew up with. So I still buy from eBay and offer up and, uh, on the cell phone, they got, uh, offer up, I was, you got it charging here. You got offer up and you got Facebook marketplace and those kind yeah. of places. So I bought this thing from eBay and um, it was a tool and the guy was local. So I was going to go pick it up. So I go over to his house, beautiful house. He had a half a million dollar motor home out front. Beautiful. Came to the door, dressed nicely, invited me in down to his shop to buy this tool. So I'm going down. We go downstairs, down the hallway and Michael, Everything up to this point was normal. <laughs> I'm and, then in his, went, and then you went into the basement. I'm in his basement going towards his shop. And I look over, there are hundreds, hundreds of used ladies bras hanging from the ceiling of his basement. <laughs> and all of a sudden I'm thinking, oh my God, he's, he lures people in off of, uh, eBay and kills him and hangs their underwear. I'm thinking all this stuff. You know? and so I'm watching him like a hawk as I go and I buy this tool 
everything's normal. I just talking to him. We're talking about our dads and everything. And so we, we go to leave. I'm, of course, I walk behind him on the way out. And I say, I got to ask you, what's all these bras hanging up here? He says, oh, man, my daughter goes to thrift stores. She knows all the sizes and stuff. And she buys them, cleans them up, and uh, sells them on eBay. $200 thousand dollars a year she makes selling used bras on ebay <laughs> well i don't know much about bras but i know they're expensive and i know you're not supposed to buy them used but apparently he's found uh, a market for it well it's not him it's his daughter because i was thinking man if i went to thrift stores and hung around the bra department i'd probably get arrested <laughs> <laughs> so 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 uh uh yeah, but some of these, I mean, they're really expensive. I, I had a girlfriend one time up in D.C., and I had to take her to Dell's Bra Boutique because she was an odd size, and it was hundreds of dollars. Uh, wow. And so if you find a, an odd size uh, and, you know, can get it for 30 or 40, I mean, you're going to buy it, you know. And she cleaned yeah, them up, fixed them up, had great reviews, 200 grand a year. <laughs> so yeah. so uh, that's how I, if, if people went quick, I mean, it's, it's not get rich quick, but it's certainly the guy that taught me was an ex Marine. He was selling used cell phones and doll heads, doll heads. <laughs> not, as, <laughs> not as a, not as a combo package. I hope. No, no. I said, How, where, how'd you get into the cell phones? He says, I go to pawn shops and I ask them what they couldn't get rid of. And it's a pain in the neck for them. Right. And they said, cell phones, we can't figure out what service it's on or what, charger to go with it he says i'll give you 10 bucks a piece for every cell phone they said come around once a month we'll save them for you he had this big thing full of cell phones in his car when he he, he was teaching me so you can buy you can get people to come and teach you for pay and then he said i said well what about the doll heads he says oh i have these forms it takes 10 cents of rubber for each doll head and i can make four at a time in this form and they sell for ten dollars a piece Oh, and he says people buy them four, five, six, ten of them at a time. So he's got 10 cents in each one and sells it for 10 bucks. He showed me his sales for that month because he wanted uh, uh, eBay wants to help you learn how to do this stuff. So they have people that will raise their hand and say, we'll come and teach you for pay. So that's what he was doing. So he brought this stack of orders, 20 grand a month. He was making doll heads and used cell phones. 